Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to make a men a main menu for a game. So I'll do this real quick. Um, first, I'll just make this background color black, so the text over it will show up. Okay, so we're going to not add a group. We're going to add an object. Uh, we'll just call this level one link. Um, and we'll give that a picture somewhere I've put these pictures there we go okay so we'll give that the picture level one and we'll just kind of drag that in anywhere and then we'll copy paste that twice and put links for level two Level three. And we'll just real quickly give them a picture and drag them in. Okay, so there are our level links, and these are just sprites. You can line them up with this grid actually, but I can't be bothered. Um, and then we'll make some scenes. So add a scene. Uh, call it level one. And we'll make a level two and three as well. Okay, and we'll just um, add an object to level one just so we can we can see some stuff in it. Uh, we have a welcome to level one. There it is. Um, just make the background color black again so we can read anything. And we'll add a link back to the main menu. So we'll call this uh, link back. And aha, uh -huh. we do have a picture for it. So when we click this, we'll go back to the main menu. Cool, now we just have to link this stuff together with a really simple event. So the condition will be if the cursor is on level one link, and we push the mouse button, And we want to do left with a capital L. So if we push the mouse button and the cursor's on that, all we do is go to the scene and make sure you type this exactly as it is written here, the case correct and everything, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so if the cursor's on level one link, which is our thing here, and we push the left mouse button, then we'll go to that scene. And we can copy that twice and just change the 1 to a 2 and to a 3. So now our menu will, um, will work. And we'll just add an event here. In fact, it's the same event, basically. So we can just copy it in. Um, if the cursor is on link back, which is our object here, let's go to scene menu. Okay, now there's just one last thing: is that when you click this thing and you go back to the menu, um, if the curse, basically, if you click this and it's lined up with one of these, it will instantly go to level two. You won't even see the menu. So we need to add a little delay. So at the beginning of the scene, we're going to reset a timer. And we'll call it click delay. And then we're going to add these guys as sub events. So you can just drag them into be sub events here. 
And here we're going to check this timer is above something like half a second. So we'll say 0.5 seconds. And again, make sure you type this correctly. Click delay. Exactly as you wrote here. Okay, so now we shouldn't just get uh, click throughs on the menu. It should just all work. Okay, uh, let's try that out. Hopefully it works. Level 1. There we are, we're on level 1. And back to main menu. Okay, so that's how you can make a menu. And I'll show you real quick how you can make these highlight when you click on them. It's actually annoying me they're not snap to grid now. Um, yeah, we can also um, make it a bit more fancy if we make that a sub event and just cut and paste. While the cursor's on leveling, we can make it do an action. Um, so, for instance, here we can change the scale. Level 1 link, and we can make it just slightly bigger. I just kind of put a random number there. And of course, we want um, the opposite event. So, copy that in and invert. That means if we're not on that, copy this, we'll put the size back to 1. And doing it this way, you can then have a different effect for each thing. So we could just drop this guy the same way, just cut and paste them into a sub event. Put a different effect here, as long as you remember to put the when it's not on it to undo whatever effect you do. Anyway, let's show that real quick. So when you're on it, it should go a bit bigger. When you're off it, there's kind of a neat menu effect they do a lot. But you could do all kinds of things to make it wobble or have an animation or anything. Okay, so that's how you make a menu.